All right, welcome back, everyone. Frank Bull joins me. We've had a lively discussion for a better part of the evening down there, and I yeah. want you to share some of your thoughts here at the audience. I don't want to sit here and rail on 18, 19, 20-year-old kids that go out and bust their butt to do everything they can. You've got a coach who's making $3 million a year. He slept badly a year ago in the right. tournament. He slept badly again today. What's your take on Bill Self? I'm, I'm going to give you some numbers, Jack, okay? We all remember Roy Williams. He spent 14 seasons with the University of Kansas. Excuse my voice, by the way. His two worst NCAA losses were to a number eight and number nine seed. Now, Roy's problem was he could never win the big game. In eight seasons under Bill Self, University of Kansas has now, con has now had what a lot of people consider four of the worst losses in NCAA tournament history. Today against VCU, last year against Northern Iowa, 06 against number 13 Bradley, and 05 against number 14 Bucknell. His saving grace, Mario Chalmers, hits yep. the bucket with three seconds ago, ties Memphis and take him in overtime, and Bill Self has a national championship. Joey so difference between he and Roy right now, and he'd be hearing a lot of grumblings if he had lost that game to Memphis. And you go back, you go back to the championship year in 08 in uh -huh. Detroit, the Davidson game. Davidson right. was a 10 seed, almost knocked him out then. He wouldn't have had the three-point shot. He probably would not have had the $30 million contract. I'm not saying he's a good coach, but something's going on in these tournaments because you don't go out. You don't lose to this VCU team. I don't care, Frank. I mean, if you can't shoot, you play defense. You do sure. something to get you do oh, something You're else. the number one team in the nation or number one seed. Against teams from BCS conferences, Kansas doesn't seem to have much of a problem. They really get tight. They really get nervous against these teams from, you know, you're talking about the Colonial Athletic Association, Horizon League. They always have a tendency to get tight against these teams and it always comes up to bite them. I mean, they play great against the Memphises and Kentuckys and the UCLAs. They have a really big, big time trouble with Bill Self. Bill Self today even said, and I, I read an article in the newspaper, said, hey, I still get nervous before these games. Games like this were double-digit favorites. I think that's reflected in the players. The players oh, have I to think sense so that. too. And this no perimeter doubt. defense, inexcusable early on. They got a six nine guy sitting out there banging away. They score nine of these in the first half. The game's over. Basically over in the first half. Yeah, and the other thing is, you know, just outside the paint, Jack, they hit four shots from outside the paint. Four for thirty outside. I'm not even talking about being behind the arc. I'm just talking about shooting. They did not play defense today, and that is very uncharacteristic of a Bill Self team. They just didn't get out there on the perimeter and guard those players. This Jamie Skin. I, what is he, 6'9 or mm -hmm. something? I think in the first half, he didn't have a point inside the arc. I mean, somebody's got to be accountable for that, don't they? I mean, you, you can't let these guys go off like that on you. you got to put somebody out there to defend a guy, and they had no one out there defending a guy. Uh, it's just it's just a microcosm of what happens to Kansas in the NCAA tournament. Like I said, the four losses they've had in the NCAA tournament that we just went over are four terrible losses for a team like the University of Kansas. All right, about the Morris Twins, what do you think is going to happen? And I know it's too early for them to decide anything. Uh, this yeah. team is lost without them. You know, tomorrow they'll probably wake up and go, you know what, let's come back, let's go, let's go do it. But I think the longer they go along, people start talking to them about where they're going to be drafted, what the NBA situation is going mm -hmm. to be next year. Right. Will they play basketball and try to figure out for these young kids what's best for them? Right now they can play in the NBA. They're both going to be first-round draft choices. They're talking about Thomas Robinson being a first-round draft choice as well. So these kids really have to make a, you know, it's a big decision for them. I know right now they want to go home, maybe come back next year and try to do it again. Let's get together and try to do it one more time. But these losses add up for you. If you're the Morris Twins, you just go, yeah. my gosh, they really are going to get over the hump. No, really. We got about a minute, Frank. I want to ask you about this Missouri situation mm -hmm. with Matt Painter. It sounds like that's the guy. And I, I'd be a little surprised. He's a Purdue guy. He went to Purdue. Katie Hand picked him to take that job. What do you think is going to happen down in Columbia? Well, he makes $1.3 million a year. If uh, Missouri's going to have to come up with probably what Arkansas offered Mike Anderson, which was 2.2 million. They're going to have to come up to $2 million range, which it appears they can do. He would be your number one kid. He's the heck of a coach, but he's a Purdue guy. So you have to wait to find out how he really feels about it. Yeah, they got to get somebody and they got to stick with him, boy. I mean, they just they can't afford to go through this. And you, you talk about Shaka and you talk about Chris Mooney and, and these young guys, and they're, they're bright young coaches, but they're on their way up. And I don't oh, think yeah. they want to park and stay in Missouri for 15, 20 years. So, I mean, you, they you, got a decision to make down there. You may not get a coach that wants to stay there for 20 years. You may have to deal with this on, yeah. on an ongoing basis. All right, buddy, you take care of that allergy. Then, I will. Huh? I'll I know take you care will. Of that thing. Thank